Welcome back. I'm on part five of my building the chaperone, this paddle wheel steamer. I made pretty good progress. Let me give you kind of a flyby and show you some of this stuff up close. And then those of you that are interested, I'll do some more detail into each individual section as I worked on it. But for now, let me give you that flyby. Here is a little tour of the ship as it stands today. You can see here on the front, there are two layers of Oh, rub strips, I guess, and I settled on a color choice. I did maroon for the rub strip, and then this upper piece is what was featured on the uh, box that came with the ship. So I stuck with the white there. You can see I put a couple lanterns on the front here that I made, and the crate box is there, and then I did a little different light fixture here and that is done on a laser uh, cutting machine laser etch that's something that uh, is new for me I got it for Christmas I'd mentioned this area down here and then I'd put a light trying to flicker trying to flicker a light on that area right there but I don't think it's really going to show up much. You probably recall that I mentioned earlier that when I am going to stain, I stain before I glue anything. In this case, I did not, and you can see the little marks where the the uh, glue is because it's a little bit lighter. I don't mind that on this. I want the ship to look a little bit worn, so that's it's okay with me. Originally. I was not going to stain it. I was going to leave it light and just put the oil on it and that would not have been an issue. But the more I looked at it, I decided I wanted to go with the dark planking to give a direct contrast to the white on the ship and the cargo, some things like that. Here's the staircase going up to the next level. This maroon railing goes all the way down the ship. I may have mentioned I'm not totally happy with the lanterns on the side, the little base that I made. I probably could have just glued the uh, lattice work and not had anything under it or just a flat piece of wood. I have big plans for this area. Again, I didn't really like this look on the outside. That's why I decided to do my own planking work. This is not glued down yet. They are all glued together. So now this is one piece. I can take that off. Now you can see my completed work on the boiler where I made my columns for my electrical wiring to go up to the next level because I decided not to use them here. I'm in the process of printing some more cargo to put here. Here's the cargo in the back area, which no one will ever really see unless you peek through those windows and you'll just barely see it. But that was my goal, so I'm happy with that. Not too concerned what this all looks like because you're not really going to see it directly. It's going to be pretty hard to see. The only reason I did the lighting in there is to make it so you can just barely see the cargo. This cargo up here you will be able to see slightly from this angle. Here's that view I was talking about that if you got down you might be able to see into that room just a little bit to see some of the cargo I'm going to put in there. Boilers complete. I will illustrate the difficulties I had getting this flat but it will work fine now. No sense in discussing it twice. For those of you that are interested, stay tuned. I will go through more of a step-by-step -step process that I went through to get to this point. I think my next step will be to glue this in place and start building on top of it. I've been working on this boiler assembly and I have it assembled partially. A minute. What you need to do is between the manual with the written instructions and this, read both and have them complement each other, I guess would be a good way to say it. So I started out here on the left hand side 
and there's a little note here it says miter the joints these are just two small pieces but you do need to angle them so that they will fit in this little space and where I'm talking about is right in this area here very subtle so that's actually two little pieces of wood and it's been cut at an angle to fit in there that was one thing these small nails across the bottom there are pre marked holes or they were a little bit too tiny so I took a micro drill bit and pre drilled the holes slightly so the nails would go in a little bit easier probably the most difficult thing for me was the smoke manifold and it has several small pieces that go together I was unable to get these two square pieces here these two part number 75 to to be flat so I ended up resting this on a sander I have a belt sander that also has a circular disc I was able to put it up against that circular disc flatten them and now these will fit on here so this lowers down through the, the ship and then these square bottoms rest on that now I also did this cut on a belt sander I kind of marked it like it shows here on the plans and then just sanded it down to get that little square I was wondering why you just didn't sand that circular and it's because this square piece fits on there so when it goes down onto the ship that will be glued right there I've got several small pieces to put on this yet I have this what's called a mud drum in place and you know it, you just look closely and it shows you where everything goes it gives you measurements wasn't bad at all it's just you go step by step and make sure you look at all of this the position of the smoke manifold that shows it right there that's the part I did not get straight it doesn't really say what these are but they were like little hatches or little doors I'm guessing that's to access where the coal is I'm not sure but I may try and indirectly shine some flickering lights there I put a little red tint on them to give it kind of a glow looking I figure it's got to be pretty hot in that area at the boiler assembly completed I want to discuss just a little bit on the plans you need to look very closely to determine okay is this on top of that edge or is it flush with that edge so I think I with, went with it on top if, if you look very closely I think that's what it looks like and that's what this requires you to do you need to look closely this safety valve here as well as these pressure gauges are very tiny they're the metal parts I decided to copper leaf them so I'll show you those in a minute and then I'm going to let them age naturally so it may take 10 years but that copper will darken this 1 16th inch dowel that implies to me that it would be a wooden dowel much like the top part of it that's actually I think going to be brass what's called a steam line is actually 1 16th in diameter and it goes up to that same point this steam line goes into a hole that you drill right there and then its vertical goes into the ship so I'm guessing those three really should be that brass and I just snipped it off of that piece it's got plenty extra so that's what I determined that I was going to do with that so let me show you this put together one area I'm going to have to change I had put some electrical wiring for lighting that I thought was going to go in this area and I think I'm not going to do that because this is actually where the boiler goes it would not have lights on it so I've drilled some holes then I will take these black straws and make a uh, tube for that to go up to the next layer and I'll use those electrical wiring for the next layer there's a little dowel rod you put here and a small hole in this and that gives you the proper positioning for the boiler I've improvised and I'm using black straws 
to get the electrical lines through the boiler and up to the next floor. So that would not be in the regular plans. I did that on my own. Here are the steam valves and back here are the gauges. Those are the things that I covered in copper, copper leaf. This is that part that I mentioned. And I put those little discs on there. I just cut a little dowel and then drilled a hole in it. And that's just to secure it to the top. I could have drilled holes, but I wanted that much height. And then you can see that brass rod goes all the way back into the ship. And then you make a little balancing point for it. I may clip off the back side of it, although that's not going to show. I've started darkening some of the cargo that I'm going to put in here. I didn't do a real professional job because you're not going to be able to see it really at all. It's just going to be very faint. And I'm going to fill the whole area with cargo. Got the front staircase resting in place. It is not glued in place yet. I wanted to have mobility. And you can see that this has a little gap there. This will come up, fit right on there. This one I have not stained yet. This one will go here. In an effort to get the, the next deck layer lined up as perfectly as I can, I'll show you what I have done or what I decided to do. Here's the front portion. This was two pieces. So what I do to start is I turn it upside down on a flat surface and you could either use painter's tape, I happen to use clear packing tape, tape them together exactly how I wanted them. Let me set this one down where it goes. And now I'll do the same thing with these. This is the back section of the ship, I've turned it over. I've got them lined up exactly and if you want you can take some sort of a straight edge just to make sure. Now I'm pushing them together. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to separate it and I'm going to put a bead of glue right in that crack. I'm going to put, I'm going to use wood glue. I'm going to fold them back down. Wipe off any excess glue. Let that dry for a little bit and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. This is the area that I thought maybe you'd think that those were uh, access ports for the boiler. There, and I, You can't see here, it's too dark and no one's ever going to see it. But I wanted to flicker a light on that. What I did is I put one of my lamps inside here, drilled a small hole so that the light shines in that direction. This piece was not with the ship. I made these on both sides. And if you get right around here, which you'll never be able to see, but right down in there, there's a small hole. I don't think it's going to be that effective. It was just something for me to try. This is just a standard soldering iron. And this is going to be on the front of the ship. This is one of those things I just take my time. You can see how it's starting to form. And the reason I wore the gloves is because this had the ammonia on it. If I just used water, I wouldn't bother. So this is going to mount on the ship, right on the front. 
For some of you, this is going to be a little controversial. These are my base of the smokestacks. I am going to copper leaf them, but then bear with me. I will age them and darken them. They'll get very dark, almost black, with a little bit of a teal patina. And we shall see how they turn out. So just give me a chance to show you how it looks when it's all done. I'll let this dry some and then I will brush off any of the excess copper. Where this didn't stick, I'll put some more of the adhesive on and then redo that. It's very, very thin. I may have to sand the holes a little larger, but bear with me, this is not what it's gonna look like and I'll, I'll uh, bring you up to date in the next episode on this part of the build. That's it for part five. I'm gonna take a little bit of a vacation for a couple of weeks. So I'll, uh, I'll start working on this when I get back and we'll get into part six and hopefully this upper deck will be in place. This is Boiler Dan 1, and as always, thanks for watching.